for Team Committed, please welcome to the stage, Mehran Kagane! Too, by the way. This isn't committed in marriage or different, Carrie. 
I am going to put that out there. Committed to marriage are different. I'm going to fuck all of those in front of my husband. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that I would fuck a bunch of insane people who are on the last cast of Holding Sticks. <laughs> but there are cool commitments. Uh, luxury spa treatments. <laughs> Swedish showers. Now, <laughs> this is actually us at the W Hotel South Beach. Just two Less hairy. <laughs> my cat looks incredibly hairy. <laughs> An expanded sense of community. Do you know what I mean? Remember when we were actually neighbors? <laughs> A farewell to toilet shame. I'll tell you something. If we're talking about the apocalypse, it is toilet shame that will kill us. <laughs> Were our genetic ancestors afraid to poop in front of each other? <laughs> the things my husband and I do in front of each other? It's disgusting. <laughs> but we're fearless. <laughs> Literally no drawbacks. There are no drawbacks at all to a committed life. Fear of being committed, sure. I'm sure some people in this room have a fear of being committed. You know, vulnerability, real vulnerability, right? Loss of fun, take that. Disappointment. Yeah, I see you afraid. It's a waste of time. You gave yourself second marriage. Those the first three and a half years, a wash. <laughs> Feeling trapped. Anyone? <laughs> I'm too busy. I'm too busy for that. I'm too busy to be committed. Think of your mental health. <laughs> Terminal uniqueness. That is what single people suffer from. Terminal uniqueness. <laughs> what kind of literal idiot could say no? A literal idiot. I have a list here. These, uh, these sort of stray crazies of the world, the ones who will not be committed. <coughs> Worsening issues. Life just gets harder. The crazy stuff gets harder. These cast off prisoners of the mind, they will suffer from long term anxiety. These. <laughs> these unwanted insane. <laughs> will be victims of crimes. <laughs> These hermetic, derailed people will face incarceration. These lonesome irrationals are more prone to accidents. What in Mexico they call locos solos have a lower life expectancy. <laughs> These manic wanderers will be poor. He's screaming lonely, will kill themselves. <laughs> That's literally my uncle's living room. I can't even believe it. Get me wrong. That's literally. So what's the verdict? 